diving into Filmora's editing panel. And not only will we be exploring those panels, by the end of this tutorial, you should be able to recreate something like this video you're watching on screen right now, all on your own. So without further ado, let's go. Let's actually start right here with the top menu bar. So first of all, we have file where you'll be able to find file related actions as you would expect. So things like creating a new project, opening an existing project, opening something you've opened recently, or even, you know, saving your project, really important stuff right there. Next up, we have editing where you'll be able to find you know, some editing tools such as undo, redo, cut, copy, paste. We've talked about those in previous videos, which you can find right here in the Creator Hub. Next up, we have tools, which under tools, you'll be able to find some more in-depth, more specific tools, if you will, like scene detection, AI vocal remover, auto reframe, you know, a bunch of really cool tools that Filmora offers, but all these are meant to basically enhance your video editing process. Next up, we have a view. So this is more related to the layout of your editing software. You know, different editors like different things. Here you'll be able to choose your layout. Not only that, right here, you can also do things like adjust playback quality, the zoom level, and much much more. Now moving on to the media panel, which you'll be able to find right here. First things first, you have media where you can import files from your own computer. By the way, we have a full tutorial on importing footage into Filmora. So again, you can watch that in the Creator Hub if you're interested in that. Now after media, we have stock media which is really helpful if you're creating a video and you do not have a particular piece of footage that you want, maybe a B-roll of something. You have a bunch of footage, stock footage that is accessible to you within Filmora so you don't have to look elsewhere. These are also really neatly organized in categories in your stock media library so we can find right now we're looking at the trending stuff have a lot of nature scenes subscribe <laughs> if you want to do maybe a youtube video or something like that you have graphics for that a lot of fun stuff for you guys to explore in your own time next up we have the audio library where similar to the stock media you can access stock audio again starting with the trending ones but you can find stuff for vlogs, for cinematic, and you can obviously, as always, search at the top for something. You can see right here, I search for gaming. Oh, and by the way, before I forget, Filmora has actually partnered with Universal Music to offer you, you know, access to their library to use in your content. So that's pretty cool if you ask me. Now, next up, we have the titles where you can find, of course, titles, text. You have, you know, these more cartoonish styles. We have neon, which I really like. And oh, and by the way, you can also right here add AI captions to a video, which I really like. You can have AI translate your stuff. You can do speech to text. So kind of like that typical TikTok uh, voice, AI voice that speaks the text that's on screen, or you can do dynamic captions. They can be super helpful specifically for social media content. Moving on to transitions, which you've probably seen. If I remember, <laughs> I'll add a transition before the previous clip to this one. And basically, transitions are pretty self-explanatory, but it's something to smooth or ease the transition between one clip and the other. Sometimes to add, you know, a specific style to your video, that can be cool as well. Again, you'll be able to find a bunch of different effects that you can add to your project in between different scenes to indicate that scene change, but also to add that creative flair into it. Now on to the effects effects library. Here you'll be essentially able to find effects and apply those effects to your video to enhance kind of the visuals of it all. We have the film, 
which kind of gives an old school look to your footage, which I sometimes like. You could also add this like old film overlay. I don't know. We actually did a video full on effects. So again, you can check that out in the creator hub. Similar to effects, you could also use filters to change the style of your video. So you can use AI to enhance the colors. I personally am one to really like saturated <laughs> videos and stuff. So this is one I could see myself using. You can sharpen your footage. There's a bunch of these for you to scroll through and apply to your videos. Next up, probably one of my favorites is the stickers library where you'll be able to find, you know, again, the subscribe buttons, which you see in a lot of YouTube videos. Even if you're wondering how do they do that, it's probably a library like this. For example, I like this one kind of neon style. I like this one with the kind of cursor clicking. Uh, you can also, you know, highlight different parts of your video with circles or arrows is another one that's used a lot. And uh, last but not least, we have the templates, which you can see again, <laughs> is a lot of gaming stuff. Again, this is probably skewed for what I've been doing <laughs> in the past, but I really like this one. I hadn't seen this before, so I'm actually going to store it to look at it later. But here you can find, you know, templates for if you want to do a slideshow of different photos from maybe a trip or something, or if you want to do a logo reveal, that can be cool as well. So let me actually try to show you. Let's do the game intro. Or no, this one looks pretty fun. Oh my god, I love this. Okay, I need to start this one as well because I want, <laughs> I want to use that for something. And also like end screens, if you want to do that for your video, you know, where you link to one or two other videos that you recommend people watch. You have a bunch of templates for those as well. Now, next up, we've seen all that. Let's use this to create a video of our own, shall we? Let's go back to stock media because I don't actually want to use any of my media because if you're a beginner, you may not have anything that you want to edit for now. You may just want to play around with the footage or everything that's available to you inside Filmora. Let's see. I kind of like this background. Let me... You can click, by the way, to preview something. So this is just a background with some colors and a little bit of movement. So I'm actually going to click and drag it onto my timeline. And I will do that with a couple of things I like. All right. Moving on to audio, I want to keep with the game theme. Let's see what we have for audio in the gaming category. This one, this one I really like. Let's add that to our composition. Next up, titles. Let's see what we have in terms of gaming related titles. I like this cyberpunk a lot. Let's add that here. I love this lower thirds with the little icons. Ooh, again, a cyberpunk one. Let's do that. And let's move on to transitions. Let's see, let's search for gaming once again. And we have really fun ones. This one matches the lower thirds that we used. Ooh, pixel. I love pixel. Actually, this I need to do between two different clips. So I need to do the rest of the video first. So give me a second. I'll probably fast forward this so you don't have to watch me. Okay, I think I'm done. I think I'm going to delete this last clip. And now I want to introduce a transition between these two clips. Let's use this pixel art. Let's play to see. Okay, I like it. Let's skip right on to stickers. And I want to do, maybe let's keep the gaming search. I put 1v1s and I want to kind of like, I don't know, a battle maybe? Hmm, we have these swords, uh, but I was kind of envisioning fists for some weird reason. Fists. Um, ooh, this! 
Exactly, it's neon style, it's perfect. All right, let me add it right here over the top. Maybe not on top of the text, because that would be weird. But like here-ish, let's hit play. Oh, I like it, kind of almost goes with the music, which is funny. And last but not least, let's see about templates. I want to do gaming again, and maybe there's like a end screen kind of thing we can do. This one's pretty fun. Maybe I want to put just see you there. Let's put in all caps. See you there. I, I think that's a wrap. Okay, so now let's hit this zoom to fit timeline so we can see the entire timeline at once. Now, I guess the last thing we need is to give a once over, you know, final look at the video. And for that, we'll be looking at the player panel. So here is where you'll, of course, view your video. You can view your video as you're editing. My preferred way to do that actually is where is it right here this option is called quick preview mode it allows you to just drag your mouse your cursor through the timeline and kind of preview the entire video without having to continuously hit play and pause i really like that and for the final overview i like to click here on render preview it will wait for a little bit it will load the entire thing so you can have a smoother playback so you can watch the video in the best quality possible. You can also write here toggle if you want to see the player in half the quality or a quarter of the quality if you want to, you know, save your computer the headache. But for this, again, we'll be watching in full quality. You can, of course, hit play, stop to go back to the beginning, you know, forward. You can have, you know, just drag across the timeline here. If you, for example, want to check a specific section, maybe I want to watch this transition we did so i want to drag it here and watch it over you can also here take snapshots so if i want to use this maybe for my thumbnail or a social media post i can click this camera icon right here to take a snapshot and it will ask you where you want to save it uh you can set it immediately as a thumbnail which is cool and you can also tell it to remember your choice so you don't have to go through this box you know, every time you want to take a snapshot. And of course, if you really want the ultimate experience, you'll want to watch it in full screen. <laughs> Filmora's editing panels and by you just having familiarized yourself with these features you're quite ready to go in and create something for you whether it's for fun just for practice or your very first real life project uh, whatever you want to do I'm sure you'll be able to do it inside Filmora especially with the knowledge of this video but if you need any further help you can watch the other videos in the Creator Hub or reach out to our customer service team. They'll be more than happy to assist you. That being said, thank you so much for watching and happy editing.